Hello Crusaders, I'm Sierra Ash. And I'm Jayla Shelton. Welcome to the Red and Gold Show. Students will put on Once on This Island as our spring musical. Parents of those performing in the musical should plan to attend a mandatory parent meeting on December 4th at 7 p.m. If you are unable to make that time work, please contact Leslie Young at lyoungatsacena.org or Margaret Say Fulford at msayatsacena.org. Speaking of the musical, the directors are hosting a contest for the t-shirt and program design. All entries are due to Miss Young or Mrs. Zay Fulford by December 19th. It's cold outside, and one way to warm up is to get moving. What better way is there to bust a move than at a school dance? Stuco is here to help. They're sponsoring a winter formal dance on December 8th from 8 to 11 p.m. You can get one ticket for $3 or two tickets for $5. Pizza, drinks, and snacks will be provided at no extra cost. A cookie decorating station will also be available for no extra cost. Students wishing to bring in someone from another school need to have a permission slip on file. You can pick up the slip from the front office. See Mr. Getty in room 205 to get your tickets soon. Mrs. Lowe is planning a trip to Panama in 2020. Brandon Escobar has more on the story. Chicago National Park, Portobello. Uh... Thanks, Brandon. See Mrs. Lowe if you're interested in the trip or have any questions. Now let's go to Jalen with a look at our clubs. Book Club will meet tomorrow at 7 a.m. Crusaders for Life will meet Thursday after school. Now back to the news. Thanks, Jalen. Cecina will be hosting the first blood drive of the year on December 6th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Sign-ups for those interested in donating blood will take place on December 4th and 5th during lunch period. Students must be 16 or older in order to donate. Those who are 16 will need a permission slip signed by a parent. Donating blood is a great opportunity to give that little extra crusaders, so please consider signing up next week. Don't forget to register for the Experience 4-H at Purdue Science of Games event if you're interested. The registration deadline is Friday. The event will be held on December 8th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. at Purdue University in West Lafayette. The cost is only $15 and lunch will be provided. To get more info or to register, visit the event's website listed on your screen. Now here's a look at today's sports with Viana. Thanks, Jayla. The swimming team will compete at Speedway at 5.30 p.m. Good luck, Crusaders. Now back to the news. Thanks, Viana. Remember to order your copy of the yearbook online. The early bird cost is $30, but you must order the book by January 31st to get that price. To place your order, go to the website on your screen and enter Cecina for the school. From there, you can order the yearbook. You may also place a senior ad or a business ad through this same website. If you did not order last year's yearbook and still want one, they are available for $45 in the Spirit Shop. Now here's Jadon with a look at the weather. Thanks, Sierra. Today's high is only 27 degrees and the low is 17. It's supposed to gradually warm up with rain coming later this week. Now back to the news. Thanks, Jadon. Remember, if you're interested in taking driver education this coming year, pick up a registration form in the main office by Christmas break. Final exam exemption forms are available from Mrs. Four and the guidance office. Students must pick up a form and submit it to guidance by December 7th for initial verification. No late forms will be accepted. Students will be notified via Canvas email if they meet the discipline and attendance requirements as of December 7th. Are you skipping any finals? Yeah, I plan on it. I have a lot of A's and I have really good attendance, so I kind of plan you. on taking advantage of that. If you're looking for a service opportunity, Holy Name Parish has you covered. They're holding their annual Christmas Bazaar on Sunday from noon to 4.30 p.m. in the Holy Name Gymnasium. You can volunteer in a number of ways. Some are needed to help set up on Saturday starting at 9 a.m. On Sunday, you can help with serving, cleaning up, or working one of the more than 20 booths. Cleanup efforts will begin at 4.30 on Sunday. For more information, please contact one of the two ladies listed on your screen. That's it for today's news. Keep it real, Crusaders. And give that little extra.